I want to share something with y'all right quick. Real life. Um, if you in the streets, right? When you in these streets, when you playing in these streets, um, when you start dealing with these females and they got other family members that's in the streets and y'all don't get along, you know what I'm saying? You know, just, um, when her family is against you, y'all beefing, both of y'all in the streets, it's like, just, you know, don't do it. Don't do it. Leave it alone. You know what I'm saying? Leave it alone. I'm going to give you an incident. What happened with one of my homeboys. This happened in Jackson, Michigan. Jackson, Michigan, right? Um, if you don't know, I'm from Chicago, Illinois. I'm from the west side and the north side of the city. We in, I used to be in Jackson, Michigan, you know, back and forth down there. I got family down there, lived in Jackson, Michigan for, for a while, but I'm a Chicago native. Lived throughout the Midwest. I met this guy, he from Chicago, he was in the streets. And um, he was in the streets. We instantly, you know what I'm saying, clicked up, linked up. Both of us from Chicago in the streets. Both of us. You know, doing dirt in the streets, you know, hustling in the streets. You know, we had something in common. So we became real tight. He came to Jackson, Michigan, started hustling hard, getting a lot of money. Getting a lot of money in the streets. All right. Now, I'm talking many years ago. This is many years ago. I've been off the streets many years now, you know. Um, My boy started getting a lot of money. I used to even take trips with him back and forth to Chicago, to Jackson, Michigan, which is only like three hours away from Chicago, right? I used to take trips, highway trips on with him to Chicago, you know, so he can, you know, bring some work back from Chicago to Jackson, Michigan. That's where he used to cop at in Chicago. So I used to be with him on multiple times, right? So this particular, this particular day we get back, we make it back Jackson, Michigan, and I was at um at a crack house, drug house, selling drugs, right? This is broad daylight. It's like two, three in the afternoon. My homeboy, you know, he used to be try to, you know, he really liked this 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 female that stayed right across the street from the crack house, you know, from where I was selling drugs. And I used to tell him, you know, man. You know, man, man, leave her, leave her alone, man. Leave this, leave her alone, man. You know, because you and her brother into it. Y'all both in the streets. You know what I'm saying? He telling, you know, he telling my guy, you know what I'm saying? Like, he don't approve of him messing with his sister. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not happening. And But my boy used to go to the house. You know, he used to like, you know, taunt this, this guy. He like, no, nah, man, do need to mind this business. But I'm like, but that's his sister, though, man. You know, it's going to turn into something else. Just leave her alone, man. So this particular day we get back from Chicago, he want to go over to the house, you know what I'm saying, and, and talk to the girl, you know. And um, I'm across the street in the crack house on the second floor. And uh, so I holler out the window, like, man, when you get done, when you get done, you know, um, just come up, come over here, come over here, right? So, um, my boy, he talking to this girl, talking to this girl, and all of a sudden, you know, I hear like some arguing outside from across the street. I look outside, it's the girl, her brother, standing there, you know what I'm saying, with a bat. It's like my boy standing outside the fence the girl is standing inside the fence with her brother and he got a bat i guess he done yanked her inside the fence so my boy standing there arguing with this dude about his sister man so i look out the window i ain't really think of nothing you know what i'm saying i ain't really think of nothing and so some minutes go by you know what i'm saying and i hear a scream I hear a woman scream, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, you know, it was real loud. 
And I look out the window and I see the dude, you know what I'm saying? They like, when I looked out the window, it's like they went, he was running like, my boy was running like through the back way, the back house where I was at. It's like he was trying to run upstairs, run to the house where I was at. He was running. It's the winter time. Cold outside, winter time, afternoon. He's running. By the time I look out the front, window i could see my boy run and then i could see the guy with a bat he had a bat and that's all i seen right so i'm like dang so by the time i get downstairs i run downstairs i hide all my drugs and stuff and whatever i run downstairs and open the door my boy is bleeding from the head he's laying in the snow it's blood gushing everywhere Blood gushing everywhere. The snow is like red. And he had long hair. And it was like um, brain matter in his hair. Like pieces of his hair was laying in the snow. What happened was. Uh, dude chased my boy. You know what I'm saying? And beat him with a bat. Bust him in the head with the bat. You know what I'm saying? And you know he hit him in the head trauma. You know what I'm saying? And um, this is right after I told him. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, you shouldn't even be talking to this girl. When you get done, come holler at me right quick on some business. And he lost his life that fast. The dude got into an argument with my boy. And my boy started running. Dude hit him with a bat in the back of the head. He died of head trauma. You know what I'm saying? It was crazy. Over, you know, over some senseless, man. But I'll never forget that. You know what I'm saying? Never forget that. But, um... You know, if you in these streets like this and you got you dealing with a female and her and, and and her family in the streets or even if her family ain't in the streets, man, it's like don't even get yourself involved, man. Don't even get yourself involved. You know what I'm saying? And he was getting a lot of money and it was like jealousy uh, behind that. Also, it was a lot of people in the streets jealous of him because he came from Chicago. He was just getting money, you know, and that's just. You know, it was senseless, man. But I thought I'd share the story with y'all. When you dealing with a female and her family ain't dealing with you, man. Or if it's some friction, it's like, man, just, just leave her alone. You know what I'm saying? There's too many females out here, you know what I'm saying, to be beefing over or getting getting into it for it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's senseless. It's all senseless. senseless. It's enough females out here for, for every man. You know what I'm saying? It's more females in the world than men. But yeah, my boy got hit upside the head with a bat that quick and lost his life, man. But when he got hit upside the head with the bat, you know what I'm saying? I, I left the scene. I ain't want to have nothing to do with nothing. You know what I'm saying? I left the scene, but somebody already had called like 911 or whatever, you know, but he was already unconscious on the scene. But I left the scene, you know what I'm saying? I didn't want to be around when the police came or ambulance and in front of a crack house because it was a known crack house somewhere you know what i'm saying but yeah if you're dealing with these females and she got family members you know what i'm saying or even friends man it's like don't don't even do it it's not worth it you know what i'm saying but yeah i got more stories to come to share with y'all you know uh be cautious man out here you know who you talking to just be smart use your mind you know what i'm saying use your brain more stories to come don't forget to like and subscribe more um stories to come as you know i'm a non i am a non-fiction writer and i'm going to be coming with like different you know stories and uh, experiences that i overcome in the streets and in prison peace and love it's deshaun hassan